with dozens of families who paid thousands of dollars to have their homes renovated. Instead, what they've been left with is nothing less than scandalous. You've taken a great deal of money from people's lives, Mr Martin, haven't you? You got something to hide, sir? I didn't set him up. Yes, you did. You rang our producer and arranged for him to meet you here today, didn't you? No. You set him up beautifully. No, I didn't. Two experienced no. con men, Bob did. White You're and running, his senior running, partner, running, Robert right. Martin, now so desperate, they're preying on each me. other. Not Thank only ruining mind. people's lives and bank balances, but their actual homes throughout the central coast region of New South Wales. Why have you ripped so many people off, Mr Martin? You've taken their money, you've ruined their homes. Why have you done it? Robert Martin should be jailed. Why have you done it? Um, he has walked into so many people's lives and left nothing but devastation. Battlers George and Marae Mesk wanted their dream home rendered. Twelve months and almost $10,000 later, all they're left with is an empty bank balance, thanks to Robert Martin and Bob White. What about the Mesks? You ripped the Mesks off. No. You took their money, didn't you? No. They walk into people's homes, they walk into people's lives, and they walk straight out, making a whole heap of promises that they have no intention of delivering. The Occurrent Affair investigation has uncovered 29 families who've paid an average of $10,000 each to have homes like these blue boarded and then rendered to last a lifetime. He promised the world and he said, you know, he was going to do all the external cladding, um, Promised all these columns at the front and all the windows, all the, the special trims around the windows. Nothing was ever delivered. Rita and Andrew said, Rufo oh, mate, paid Bob Martin and his henchmen $11,500 to render their home. They were torn between a quote, several thousand dollars more, and Martin's quote. And he said, Oh, mate, that's because we got the good product and, you know, big spill. So we thought, OK, we'll go with you and see how it goes. And, um,. Got ripped off severely, unfortunately. Now you can give your home the protection it deserves and add thousands of dollars to its value at the same time. Armor Shield won't burn, won't rot. It's waterproof, highly impact resistant, stain resistant, and resists salt penetration. It is essential for a rendering powder to be flexible. Martin's product was nothing but poor quality cement. All it did successfully was crack. It was garbage that we found out. Um, we had our engineer do a report and so everything, all the work he did was all crap anyway. It all had to come off, basically, so the product was no good. It was all the labels, the containers were um, relabeled. There's old stuff in there, so it was all, all fake. Martin and his cronies even conned their own employee, Paula Hamill, into having her family home rendered. You're supposed to seal it for us so it wouldn't leak. And as you can see, it's mouldy, it has leaked, leaks into the back room on the tiles, comes through the tiles. The whole back room leaks? Yep. For the privilege of nine and a half thousand dollars, this is what Bob Martin left Paula, her husband and three children living in for the past year. It was a band product, the one he mainly used. He got it from Queensland. It should never have been used. So how did he make it look as if it was, wasn't there? He bought white drums and he got his uh, stickers made up for it. The Armour Shield stickers. Armour Shield stickers. And if anyone stickers. should know, it's Paula Hamill. She endured four harrowing months working alongside Bob Martin as his personal assistant before quitting. He was the biggest con I have ever seen in my life. And then if people didn't pay? He was the most rudest pig threatened them he was horrible threatened yeah how did he threaten them oh he'd send people over to see you you'll pay me you'll do as i say i'll be coming around with my fellas tell us about paula hamill she says you've taken a quarter of a million dollars from people in a four-month period quarter of a million dollars in a four from a four-month period mr martin what did you spend most of your time doing answering phones from irate customers people in tears, people coming to the counter complaining, people ringing. One person could ring six times a day. You know, they were so distressed, they were promised their job would be started next week, and six weeks later they were ringing up, and it was pitiful. You know, I would go and tell him he wouldn't care. So, leave me alone, I'm busy. 
The man had never had no time for anybody. All he wanted was people's money. Didn't he have a conscience? No. Nope. None whatsoever. With fade and debt resistant 50 year guaranteed armor board. Plus, get this hamper absolutely free with your written quote, whether you buy or not. Well, how many hampers did he have to give away? None. Never seen one. But he advertised on television, didn't he? Yes, I never seen one. There was no hampers. No one ever got a hamper. No one. Not one customer. Around I... this time, things were getting hot for Robert Martin and Bob White, but Martin wanted even more money. So he targeted Sharon Brown. I paid him all, all the money that I got from my shares. It was $32,455.80. Martin told Sharon Brown he wanted a new partner and convinced her to sell her BHP shares, her entire life savings. Do you know now that he was operating all that time under a phony builder's licence? I know now, yeah. Bob Martin was so crooked and infamous He'd been stripped of his builder's license, but that didn't stop him. So how could he continue working as a builder when you were with him? He paid a retired builder to use his license. The man I never set eyes on, Bob Martin would go out with his partner and pay the man occasionally, $100 a month. How do you know this? He told me he was going. Martin told you this? Yes. And, and so he just used this, this number to continue yes. his lies. Yes. Martin and his cronies are still out there doing it. In fact, on the very day a current affair met up with Martin, he was in the middle of making yet another deal. Mr Martin, Mike Munro is my name from a current affair. How are you? Mr Martin? I'd like to express Mr. something. Mr Martin, you've taken a um, to Just to Bob Martin himself. If I do see you in the street, mate, I'll get up to you, mate. I'll find you. And you and I will have a good talk just about this little product, what happened, and how good your product is and what you've done to me and my family. That report was produced by Dan Keynes, and an investigation of those companies is now underway by the Fair Trading Department. But the Master Builders Association, which has already expelled Martin, describes the breaches of the building code of conduct as one of the worst cases the association has seen.